Hey there, YTPC, Michelle Baruch coming at you on a very fall-like Thursday evening. I am uh, finally, finally pulling the plug, giving a try of Ye Old Haunted Bookshop by Cornell and Deal, uh, which of course I've always been a little too intimidated to try. But uh, I like the Black Double X so much, I thought, let's give it a whirl. Oh, you know, I totally missed an opportunity there. I should have started... I'm not going to go back and re-record, but I should have started the video with Hey, YouTube. Because, of course, like a lot of people, when I think Haunted Bookshop, I think Matches. Matches 860. Um, you know, who's a formative... Formative... Uh, YouTube pipe community presenter in my early YTPC days. I gotta say, another reason, in all honesty, that I've put off trying this is I'd always kind of heard it was it was a little simple, and as you probably have noticed, I like. Uh, I like a kitchen sink of flavors thrown at me, and uh, so I just wasn't sure if I was going to vibe with this, but I have to say, this is good. This is very good. Um, you know, it's not the most complex tobacco in the world. It is not. Um, it's burly, and a little bit of Virginia, and a bunch of Perique. Uh, which I'm also not normally a huge fan of, but it works well here. Mm. Mm. You know what I like about this? It's, uh, of course, it's got a little nuttiness, you know, whirlies do, but something here that reminds me of toasted, toasted wheat bread with salty butter. Mm. And the perique is really nice. It's um, a really good black pepper. Not in a way that's like, you know, burning my sinuses or anything, but it's a really good compliment. But yeah, toasted bread. That's my main takeaway here. Um, I gotta say, it packs nicely. It burns great. This is a perfect burn. Um, it is a bit dry out of the tin. Let's take a peek. <laughs> Without inhaling the tobacco. <laughs> Anyway, oh, what does that smell like? That doesn't smell like really any other tobacco to me. This smells like sour, sour bakery smells. Maybe that's just because I'm already tasting the, the buttery bread, but this smells like a bakery to me. Not a sweet one, though. One that does, like, artisan breads, um, yeast, rising yeast breads. But there's more to it there. This isn't like a simple white, like, rising challah dough or something. This is... There's like a fruitiness. Yeah. Okay. So it's like rising yeasty bread and figs. But when I say that, not not a really sweet smell. Just the hint of some sort of figginess. Or uh, something like that. Some sort of really rich dried fruit. Um, and I, I smell the buttery bread. So, take a peek here. The light's a little gray outside, so it's not the best for peeking, but you can see kind of a uniform, mostly 
like red. Um, some dark bits in here and some slightly lighter bits, but for the most part, you know, kind of a not quite cinnamon color, but pretty red. You can see that uh, it's a thin ribbon cut with some slightly bigger chunks to it, like that. Um, but again, really easy to handle. No moisture at all. Ready to go into the pipe. And not like I ever, you've seen me, I don't dry, dry out tobaccos when I do these first tastes, with the exception of the Black Double X, because, I mean, it was just an oil factory. <laughs> um, golly. So, for those of you who like literature, Haunted Bookshop is obviously a literate reference. If you uh, haven't heard of that and you like literature, then perhaps you should Google it. If you haven't heard of it and you don't like literature, forget it. Good spice out the nose. So I'm smoking it. This is a virgin run of this particular corn cob second. You can see it's got the cross out on the label there. This is one of the seven day set of seconds that I bought. And I've been saving it for something that I wanted a decent bowl for. Now, of course, it should be acknowledged that Haunted Bookshop definitely has a reputation for its nicotine content. Uh, because the burley and the perique, apparently. Um, I have not had dinner yet. We'll see if this hurts me. It is not, I'm not feeling it in the, the back of the mouth and the, you know, uvula and stuff. Anywhere near like I was feeling with the black double X, but. I figured if I survived that, I could survive this. I'm glad this is this is definitely a codger blend I can get behind. This is good. Oh. Subtle and nice. And today I have paired with it a little Milwaukee Brewing outboard ale lovely stuff. Trying to think if I've shown you this before. Um, one of the many amazing local breweries around here. Let's see, are they distributed by anybody? I have no idea whether this is available outside of Wisconsin. Probably is. I would hope it is. Look on, I think, what is it? Brewfinder or beerfinder.com. That's how you find those local things that happen to be available in just a couple strange spots. Um, let me know if you find it wherever you're from, if you've even heard of Milwaukee Brewing. But if you, uh, oh, it's a squirrel with something huge that he's carrying back to his nest there. Um, let me know if you find it near you. It's good stuff. Um, all of their all of their flavors are really good. I especially like something called Louis Demise. That's a really good beer by them. Uh, they have this ras or blueberry flavored one, Weekend at Louis. I mean, it's good, but I'm not so much with the fruit flavored beers. But anyway. Mm. I gotta say, you know, there's not a lot to talk about flavor-wise here that I didn't already say. It's not super complex, but it is solid. Solid. Um, I'll be smoking this again 
with the caveat provided it doesn't totally kick my ass. Um, obviously, Yom Kippur just happened. And for those of you who have been following me for over a year now, would know that this time last year I was feeling pretty cruddy. Uh, I really didn't even want to participate in the High Holidays last year. It was in a really, really crappy personal place. And, oh, maybe you can see the squirrel run by. There it goes. Hey, buddy. Um, and this year could not have been more different. This was a really, really beneficial Yom Kippur. That being said, you guys have a great evening. I'll talk to you soon. Zagazunt, be well.